Hey Walker, I get you a video of Molly. We are out at Shields, one of the best stores to take dogs to. So she is doing really well. So what, what we're working on is just having her be around lots of people, lots of stimulating things. Um, my friend Jess, who's also a dog trainer, is, is working her as I work one of Jess's training dogs. And what I you know, see from her is that she's understanding the obedience but sometimes can get kind of silly with a new person. Like, oh, I don't have to do this with you. And, you know, so she's kind of like, she'll kind of press boundaries a little bit. And so sometimes that's actually really good to see, really important for me as, you know, her trainer to see those things that she's like, I don't really want to do it. Like she didn't really want it down for Jess right there, but she knows down and she, you know, might be a little bit hesitant because it's a new surface, but um, really good just to, to follow through even if she kind of gets a little bit stubborn or a little bit silly or you know sometimes she gets a little silly in her body language when we come up and give her a treat or if we lose the treat so Jess is just following through the same way that I do with body language e-collar and rewarding with that food so she's using the, a similar training style she just is a different person and so She's gonna have different body language, different mannerisms, but it's really good for dogs to, in creating some depth with the training of when you hear the word down, that means down. When you hear the word place, that means place. And so she's doing really good environmentally. I'm, I haven't seen a ton of nerves like I did the first couple times when I got her out into public. Um, so even just this Ferris wheel with the with the brakes and stuff, there's no, there's no worry with that. Occasionally she'll get a little bit sensitive to pressure and want to go into a down. So right here, Jess is working on a sit stay. Um, and sometimes what she'll do is when she, when she comes in to apply a little bit of pressure to get her to sit. So if she's applying pressure on the leash or, you know, with body language or whatever. So Molly will kind of want to go into a down to kind of, so right there, so she's, she's like, Oh, the pressure of you being right here. Um, I want to resort into that down and that can be common when we do a lot of down stays. Um, good job girl. So we want to make sure that we're intermixing some sits. Oh, <laughs> that feels good <laughs> with that kind of stuff too. So she said hi to a couple kids and she did well. Um, depending on how excitable the kid is, sometimes she wants to get a little bit mouthy. So we did a little tap tap on the e-collar um to work through those things and she did better so um really good um with most dogs that i train i don't have them say hi like this dog is a little bit timid so she's not saying hi to people um but molly when um will be selective so so you know when it's a kid and the kid asks politely and we can make sure that we're working on manners we will have Molly say hi to the kid because I think it's good for her to, to work on those manners with greetings because that will play a big role with her moving forward. But sometimes I will say no, um, depending on like her state of mind. Like right there, Jess is pulling her away um, for, you know, I thought there was a person there. It kind of looked like there was, but um, Jess is just kind of getting her to re-engage with her. So not every single person that she passes, she's like, oh, I need to go say hi to you. Because what that will do is it will create a dog that pulls a lot on the leash when she sees people. And we don't want that. So we want to make sure that she understands the difference of when it's time for obedience and when it's time for, you know, training and stuff. So anyway, I'll get you a video a little bit later. Today we went earlier to the store. I was going to get you a video of the attend. So I'm going to work that tonight for her dinner. Um, this is her breakfast. Good. Thank you. Um, so I'll get that a, a video later tonight and send it on over. So she's doing really good. She, I'm really, I'm really pleased with how she's acting in the store today. Sometimes a little bit silly, but this is a very stimulating, you know, place. Lots of fun things. Oh, good. Jess is working on some dropping of the leash. Kind of what we, what I did yesterday with the e-collar and the grass. So I'm really, Jess is awesome. She helps me a lot with these dogs so huh this little dog is so cute there we go good good it's harder on the carpet so she's gonna work her through it and then maybe if we don't need to go to the leash that's okay and we're still working through it so really good good job girl <laughs> 